Hey y'all, welcome in. Bird Call, Bird of Paradise reading. Get your spirit mail. Excuse me for smacking. I am eating a banana. <laughs> but the birds have called. Your ancestors have called. So I was trying to catch them. Now it seems like they stopped. They'll be back though. Okay. Mm. All right, let's tune and tap in. Excuse me. Okay, sorry, I have to swallow my banana. <laughs> All beings of the greatest, highest light, light, most high, holy angels, holy ancestors. What message do you have for me to give to the collective spirit? Show me clearly. Y'all, I don't know why I'm hearing this song. It's so old. We used to play this or hear this or sing this in elementary. Probably like kindergarten, I think. Yeah, I remember when um, we used to sing that and they say, uh, going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I don't remember that song exactly what it's called, but that little rhyme, nursery school rhyme, that's the message. I mean, the uh, the song that's in my head right now. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me clearly what is the message for the collective regarding this ancestor spirit God message. Ancestors, show me clearly. Thank you. Okay, we have five of wands here. All right, there's some sort of conflict. Show me clearly, Spirit. What is this regarding? Thank you. Okay, we have, oh, it's over. The conflict is over. Death card. The conflict is deaded. Transform, transformation. We have three of wands here, okay? You're walking through a new door. That's why you're going on a bear hunt. <laughs> Okay, why is the five of wands here for the collective? Why is five of wands here for the collective? This is contrast, uh, conflict, all right? But this whole reading says conflict resolution here. It's like you turn your back, you close the door on it, you brought an end to the five of wands energy. With the three of wands, you're walking through a new door or onto a new path here. Five of wands, so it was conflict because there was no wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Why else is the Five of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. Okay, you could have been indecisive in the past. Or you made a decision that wasn't good. With the Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay, you could have um, freed yourself or needed to free yourself from some sort of partnership. Possibly where you were being compromised. Okay? Your energy was being compromised. But it's like, with the Death card, why is the Death card here? I feel like that energy is over with. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you've been released. Okay, you've been released. No more holding back. No more holding on to whatever that Five of Wands energy was with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like the air has cleared. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Something was messy or dirty or toxic. Five Pentacles here. It had you out in the in 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 feeling left out in the cold here. But this is what's ended. This is why this ending has happened. So you were feeling left out in the cold, defeated, and the lovers. Maybe you felt like you were at a loss financially and um, as far as like partnership wise. Maybe you didn't have any friendship or companionship or love in some type. But there was some unity that I see that you let go of. You were possibly conflicted about releasing yourself or freeing yourself from this. But with the death card here, there's transformation. No more being in a place of lack. Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Because you're you're on to something greater. There's a new offer coming in. Ace of Swords in the reverse. You are moving away from lies, deception, um, lack, loss. All right, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, you're moving out of this energy, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is what's about to turn around. This is what you don't see that's on the other side of the door. Once you get on your horse, you saddle up. I feel like you've already been saddled up. You got saddled up back here in Scorpio energy. Maybe this is this transformation. We are now in Scorpio season. So maybe there was some sort of transformation, death, ending, completion, closure, whatever that was. You got on your horse then. Knight of Pentacles. You rode out 
to go after this other offer, okay? And I feel like once this turns around, Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords, you're going to find true love. You're going to have true fulfillment. You're going to have true happiness. You're off to get it right now. I think um, be fearless. Be fearless. Persevere. Be aggressive. Don't be afraid to take action. Go for it. I think you have the world in your hands at this time. Okay? The opportunity is definitely there with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? I feel like you are over-receiving offers that were empty. And you're over-receiving offers um, that were, were de de deceitful, deceptive in any type of way. You have turned your back on this energy. I feel like you're going in a new direction. You're going out to find your happiness, your joy. Okay? You freed yourself. And you've gone through this transformation and allow for newness to come in. See, when we release things, people, places, and things that aren't serving us, which was that five of wands energy, then you open up the door for new opportunities to come your way. Remember that you are manifesting. Remember to stay positive so that the opportunities that come into fruition are ones that you want. All right. Your ancestors advise of you to clear your mind, be present, focus, and embrace. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this Spirit Mail Bop Bird of Paradise reading. I hope you got your Spirit Mail and you guys have a good day. I'm going to leave your reading right there. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you resonated with this reading in any type of way. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.